morning one and all. The subject name is compiler design. Uh, in this subject, uh, previously we discussed about some of the concepts which are related to syntax directed translation, intermediate code generation. Uh, in this uh, first, what now type checking and some of the problems which are involved in this type checking and runtime environment. What are the problems in this one? We are going to describe in this session. What is the type uh, that is to be performed whenever we are going to uh, run the program? That means at the compilation point, compilation point, we know the various phases that are execution takes place while perform this compilation. Lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization and code generation. Now, some of the information that is gathered by the type checker. This uh, type checking process is an important one uh, in the phase of the compiler design that is uh, um, syntax, uh, semantics that is to be checked clearly before the code is generated. Before generation of the code, it is to be verified uh, by the type checker whether it is uh, systematic uh, that uh, following the structure of that corresponding language or it is defined uh, correctly. So here, for example, whenever we are using an arithmetic operator, so we know that arithmetic operators such as addition plus, subtraction minus, multiplication star, division slash like that. Now, if you perform x equal to x plus y and uh, here in this uh, statement. This is an assignment statement. Assignment statement. In this assignment statement, it verifies what is the type of x. What is the type of x defined or declared? x that is to be declared at the beginning or at the function of invoking the function or where you apply it. And also it verifies what is the type of y that is to be defined or declared. So if the x, y is to be of same type, means compatible type, then expecting results are also of the corresponding the type that is x equal to x plus y x is of type int y is of type int then both the cases it is valid so that's why the validity occurs validity occurs for both the types that is x and y. Suppose if they do not belong to the same type then it raises an error. Results, results are getting errors. So type checker is verified and if belongs to the same type then it performs compilation. If it is not of same type so x equal to y also expecting of a same type. So here y is expecting an array type values, array of integers, array of integers and because y is declared of type this array type of integer, x. So like this the result that is to be carried out depends on the left hand side that is to be declaration. If that result is result of that one is result of right hand side expression or computation uh, of the computation of that uh, result of that um, computation of that uh, type type of type means suppose we are getting integer type or float type or integer array of integer values or pointer type or address reference. So what is that 
type that is defined that is getting at the end of the expression right side that is to be compatible with that is to be compatible with the uh, assigned expression on the left hand side with the left hand side of the expression left hand side of that particular expression value if that is holds good then it, it is called as a valid assignment expression if not valid that means any mismatch occurs between these two cases then it is and not only in this one in the type in the expression type also sometimes suppose for example if you are defining uh, an expression of uh, a different notation of the types also in between the uh, x equal to y plus z plus p or uh, p star q like this so here uh, the y z p q x to be of type that is to be clearly defined in such a way that it uh, matches the corresponding the point. Suppose if p is defined as integer and this suppose here in this if you defined p as a some, uh, some other uh, uh, another one then it gives definitely an incompatible term. So it checks it checks each and every line of statement and the corresponding variables which is declared is of same type or not. If it is a numeric type, then addition performs, then it is assigned and compatible type, it is an integer. Array type like that, it is to be uh, integer or real type or what type it is to be depends upon the calculation and the result is also. Suppose you, for example, in this example, what the built-in function mod has a domain type integer x, integer x. That means it is called as a pair of int x, integer x, that is not integer x, that is integer and followed by integer. That means here, um, one of the operand with the type x, another operand x, that means x is of type int, and the y is of type int, then the xy combination of type uh, x is of type int and y is of type int, then the combination of xy is of type um, int into int. So this is of the two operands. So like that uh, the pair of, this is called as a pair of integer value. Suppose in the functions we are going to define int x comma int y comma int z like that we are going to define so what is the type of this x int and what is the type of y int and what is the type of y z um, z is int so like that the togetherness of the combination int into int and what is the result of this function suppose you are performing add function and what is it is returning? It is returning integer only. So expected one is expected one is integer. So this is nothing but uh, mapping a function. That means uh, some of the domain set of values which is to be reached with the elements of another. So this is one set of elements. This is one set of elements. So domain set of elements. So that's why here int int into int. So this uh, domain set of values and range set of values both are to be compared with this corresponding mapping functions if of same type that is to be verified with of same type or not. Suppose if it is same type then the function execution takes place. In the second example there is a function that is defined that is called as foobar. In the second function it is defined the function is called foobar. In this function one is integer, another one is boolean, another one is integer. So int a, boolean b, int c. Int a, boolean b, int c. Now, what is the type of this one that is integer? What is this type boolean? What is this type integer? So in this case, in this case, integer into boolean into integer. So this is that uh, some type of the values and range type that is integer value. 
So we are going to in the, for this type of structure uh, for this type of notation we are going to construct a notation structure that is called as direct acidic graph which is a tree structure and for this uh, type expression and the nodes are to be represented with the corresponding constructors. What is the type constructor that is to be represented as nodes and the leaves are basic types that means uh, int. Uh, basic types and type names, vary type variables x, y. So th these are all uh, notations to describe these uh, functional mappings. So if the hierarchy occurs, then we can see this. For example, two in this example, a function a comma b with a defined type is character and the pointer integer it is the result that is. So here the domain set of function is defined as one is a is of type character, a is of type defined one is character, b is also of type defined one is character. So the mapping for this uh, domain set of with the range set values are a into b that is equal to character into character and the right side, the return type, that is a pointer of integer. Pointer of integer. That means here this is a domain set with the range set of values. This domain set and range set of values can also be described in terms of a notation that is direct that is graph notation. Direct acyclic graph notation with the tree structure. So here character into character that is domain and write a pointer of integer. Now here see here there is a pointer which is that is character into character that is pointer of integer. Now this arrow mark to the left it is a, it is defined with character into character. So that's why here the Leaf nodes are defined with the corresponding, so previously we have taken the structure of representing DAG representation. What is the leaf? That is leaves are represented with types, basic types, names and variables. So here basic types are character. So character is one leaf, another one is, another character is one more. So and uh, the interior nodes, that is the expressions, that is type expressions of that one can be represented with the into arrow. So here character into character and the arrow which is to be pointed out to the right hand side. What is the right hand side of the expression for this one mapping? So pointer of integer. So pointer of, so pointer there is only one integer value so that's why pointer of integer. Whereas here character that, that the, this is to be once again simplified further into um, pointer of integer is to be written as same thing as left hand side of right hand side of arrow. Whereas left hand side the expression with the character with another character that is to be represented with the notation. So instead of repeating two values we are going to write the uh, notation like this x with the into character into character. So in the, the, as a change, uh, for this node if you calculate the value at the node is character into character. So if you calculate at this right hand side of the right child of this uh, node we will get pointer of integer. Pointer of integer. Now if you take this one then what is this one we will get character into character pointer of So this is the now coming across this name equivalence of type expressions. What is the name equivalence of type action? So we are going to verify this the type expression for the corresponding variable. For example, in the type expression associated values in the declarations given as Next is the variable and the type expression is of type link. 
last is set. Another variable is of type link. P is another variable is of type pointer of cell. Q is another variable is of type pointer of cell. R is another variable which is of type pointer of cell. Now, if you we are going to verify whether the any equivalence between these type expressions between. So here, if you we are going to verify the type expression P Q R both are having the same type expression. Why? Because P corresponding type expression is pointer of cell Q also type and here also next and last. These are also belongs to the same type expression. So next equal to last. If we say next equal to last, then the type expression for next is link. Now type expression for next is link, and the type expression for last is link. Type expression for the next is also link. Now this uh, type expression for the both the cases are defined. Now if you observe the P is equivalent to next, is it equivalence of type expression possible? So in order to verify this case, now we are going to check left hand side of this equivalence. What is the variable that is present? If that is variable present is P. So P is of what type expression it is. So P is of type expression is pointer of cell. P is of type expression is pointer of cell. So now we are going to write that one as pointer of cell. And what is the type expression for the uh, right hand side of this one? So here next. So what is the type expression of this one? That is a link. Now is both are equivalent. So these both are not equivalent. So that's why it is not equal to. And also uh, uh, next uh, that is uh, P not equal to next. Why? Because these both are these type expressions of both are not equivalent. Similarly, that's why here P not equal to next. P not equal to last. So th this one uh, P, Q, R is R, R not equivalent to next or last. Why? Because the type expressions for both the cases are different. Whereas the type expressions for uh, two cases P is equal to Q equal to R, next equal to last, these are all okay. Why? Because the type uh, that is defined of type expression based on that we are going to verify that it is a type expression. So here the name equivalence of the type expression, that's why we have written as whether the name equivalence of the corresponding types, same type or not. So next equal to last indicates that next that is having the same type expression, which is associated with the variable next, last, which is having the same type expression. Similarly, the variables P, Q, which are having the same type, but uh, P and next, why? Because this P equivalent to Q equivalent to R indicates that uh, both P, Q are having same type. Whereas the next not equivalent to P, which is of not. That is name equivalence. Structural equivalence. Under structural equivalence, we are going to verify the structural equivalence of the all the five variables. So structural equivalence have the it is saying that having the same type link is a link is a name for the type expression. So structural expressions can be uh, previous one is name equivalence. Structural equivalence are so here in this example, uh, this example is given with uh, vector which is one type and uh, the expression is array and another variable is white weight which is of type uh, and uh, the expression is array type of real and another vector x y uh, here x and y are vector type z is a weight type now if we consider the name equivalence 
So what x and what is y? So here x is of type vector. Y is also of type vector. So z is of type not vector type. It is a weight type. So these both are equivalent. This one is not equivalent. So that's why x equal to y under name equivalence. Why? Because they have the type expressions of same type. If you consider x vector type, y is also vector type. So these two two types are defined. Out of this, x and y are defined with the first type. Z is defined with second type. Wait. So that's why x equal to y, but uh, x not equal to z, y not equal to. Why? Because x is of type is defined with a vector type y is so these both are equivalent here in this case x is of type vector and z is of type not vector it is a weight type so that's why x y equivalent z is not under structural equivalent the structurally equivalent, both uh, all are equivalent. X, X is of uh, same type, that is, X is of type array, Y is of type array, Z of type array. So that's why under a structural equivalent, X equal to Y equal to Z. X equal to Y equal to Z, under structural. Whereas name equivalent x is equal to y, x not equal to z, y not equal to z. So the so these are the two different uh, uh, things. One is name equivalence, another one is structural equivalence. So in this example, for example, we are going to consider the expression link. It is a pointer, pointer, pointer to cell. Pointer cell that is one link type. NP is also pointer to cell. NQR is also pointer cell. This is of type. Whereas variables, if you consider next and last, P is NP type. P is NP type. Q is R is of one type. That means Q is NQR. R is also NPR. Now here, in next, if you consider, it is a pointer link. Last is also link. So what is link? It is a pointer of cell. Link is pointer cell. Last is also pointer cell. So both are equal. So it is a matching of that name equivalence. Whereas P, it is NP. NP is pointer of cell. What is Q? Q is NQR. NQR is also pointer of cell. What is R? R is NQR. NQR also pointer of cell. So this in this case also P equal to Q equal to R. Next equal to last. Why? Because it is a link and the link is a point cell. Here it is not link, it is NP direct pointer to cell. So that's why it is a it is also comes under type expression. So like this, uh, we have previous example in the same example, that is uh, next is of type link. What is the expression, type expression that is associated with the corresponding variables in the declarations? So next is of type link, and last of type link, P is a pointer to cell, Q is also pointer to cell, R is also a pointer to cell. So what is uh, P and next? So P next, that means P not equal to next, P not equal to last, P Q. So not equal to next means here P is of, P is of type pointer cell. So that's why uh, P and Q, what is next? Next is of type link type. So these are all not match. So that's why the, this doesn't match. P not equal to next.
So now I can also verify whether that, whether that variable is corresponding type both are matched or not. So here uh, P is pointer of cell type and uh, this one is link type. So both are not matched so that's why. Whereas if you consider P Q R, P equal to Q equal to R, this statement is valid, next and last also valid. In the previous example we have seen same thing. So here also valid, why? Because P pointer of cell Q pointer of cell R is also pointer of cell. Uh, P equal to key equal to R. Whereas next equal to last because these two are of type same. These three are of type same. So like that based on the equivalence of the names which are declared in the type expression based on that we are going to verify whether they are name equivalents or not. If they are not uh, equally satisfied for the corresponding types then we can say that it is a not name equivalent. In this example also. So that is described as a pictorial representation also as a notation, graph notation. That means what are the variables and what are the nodes. Like type graph you can take and nodes declaration link equal to pointer, pqr, these uh, three we having the same type next and last. These two are having same. What is the type here? Next and last both same. Pointer, link pointer. What is this? Pointer of cell. So this will have pointer link equal to pointer of cell. So, link pointer of cell. So, next and last is a link. Whereas this one pointer of cell. So, the, this one also okay, link means pointer of cell. So, that expression can be represented uh, by verifying whether the two expressions are equivalent or not. If they are represented by the same node in the type graph, that is to be verified based on this corresponding notations. And also, uh, we will um, discuss about the remaining concept in the next uh, coming section. And, uh, all the contents which are available in this book, uh, thank you once again. And uh, we will come up with the next uh, one more problem solving in this uh, syntax uh, check, uh, type checking and run time Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.